What's going on guys? Berg's back here for another one today. A product I had no idea even existed until today. Rogue. Nicotine on demand. As I drop it. Honey lemon pouches in the six milligram nicotine level. Let's get a closer look at the presentation. So you've got a metal lid plastic bottom, um, really the closest looking to a, to a dip can of any of these nicotine pouches on the market. Uh, you've got a silver background, rogue and black, uh, six milligram behind that. You've got a yellow, which corresponds with the honey lemon flavor. On the side, net weight is 0.48 ounces or 13.5 grams. Sale only allowed in the United States. Underage sale prohibited. Rogue Holdings, LLC, Jacksonville, Florida. Honey Lemon, 6 milligrams, 20 pouches in the can. And the barcode on the bottom. Tobacco Leaf Free. We have a lot number. Best Buy is June 2021 which is quite a long shelf life, if you ask me. Reproductive harm, warning, www.p65warnings.ca.gov. Great, excellent. I will think twice now about consuming this because of your double warning labels. Anyway, uh, I wish I came into this with more information on the company itself. However, I really didn't get a whole lot of time to research today, and I've got uh, some other things planned for the evening to, to hold off. I wanted to get the video out while I had a chance to. Hmm. Uh, quite citrusy. On the inside, we have www.roguenicotine.com. Place pouch under upper lip for nicotine satisfaction. And then here's our, our package of them. They are fatter than others. They actually feel a little softer. They're, you see how wide they are, rather. Uh, or Yeah. Looks like, though, the... And it's hard to see, but I can see it due to the shadow, that the, the portion below my hand here is actually filled with whatever product and this top is empty so it's it's very loose in there whatever you know whatever crap they throw together to make these things um let's take one and see what we got yeah definitely definitely a different feel from all of the others I mean I think I I don't know what the hell I did with it but I had on in my pocket not I mean everyone's seen what they've looked like but they are about half the size of these and these have a real like cloth feel almost if you get what I mean whereas some of the others uh, seem like uh, and I don't know maybe it's that there's a tiny bit of moisture in these uh, that makes them feel softer, whereas some of these other brands are very dry, Velo especially, um, significantly dry to the touch. So what I did see about this company is uh, they seem to be very new and they seem to be taking a little bit of a different uh, avenue on things. Uh, so what do I mean by that? Well, at Sheets, I only saw these nicotine pouches on a rack and kind of threw me for a loop and I, I guess if there hadn't been a line at the register I wouldn't have even noticed I was going to buy what I was came to buy and that was the end of it but I glanced over you know kind of uh, you know I normally I scan over on the uh, the dip section but I was kind of directed over to where they have all this stuff now on this new rack and realized and i couldn't really see the other flavors that they were carrying but there was a selection 
Um, so when I came home, I took a look a little bit online before I made this, and it appears that they are also under this brand making nicotine lozenges, nicotine tablets, and uh, possibly gum as well. I may have read that, but in addition to the pouches. So it, it's almost like they're taking a an approach where, you know, they've uh, kind of combine these nicotine replacement products that have been therapeutically approved or whatever you want to call it by the FDA you know not them but when with other companies uh the standard nicotine replacements such as the gum and the lozenges and they've added that to their line as more of if you want to call it recreational use um I, I don't know. It's a, it's an interesting thought. Um, the flavor is starting to come through. Honey lemon. Hmm. I got a similar citrus to other citrus products. It kind of tastes like a lemon cough drop, but I... I, I feel like there's a hint of honey. Uh, the flavor, I moved it around a little bit, and the flavor just kind of exploded right now. Um, actually, a little bit much. You can, it, it's enough that it tingles going down your throat. Um, where with the Velo, I have the other problem that 20 minutes in, it is still dry, and I haven't gotten any flavor out of it. And I did see, actually, I saw somebody comment on on um, the Velo video. I've got to get back to you, but it, it was pretty thought out. And yeah, um, going back on that Velo would not, although I liked the flavor once it got going, Velo would not be a top pick for me. Um, this one, it will be hard to judge the nicotine right now uh that is something i will probably have to follow up on in the comments section in you know a couple pouches from now i seem to not be the best at judging the nicotine in some of these new to the market products off the bat um in on on cinnamon and it seems to at certain times be satisfying and at other times, like earlier today, I threw one in and I don't know what it was. It was maybe too close to a dip that I had or what have you. But it was like nicotine overload and I had to get it out of my mouth. It was it was to that point. So um, you're, you're probably going to have to play around with these. Um, I can't say I, I, I taste this honey on top of the citrus. And yes, it is different, but I don't I don't know that I care for the the combo. I, thinking about it, I would probably like one that just tasted like honey, to be honest with you. Or you know, the lemon is kind of I've had enough lately with the Velo and the and the On and all them others. But um, I think a honey only would be quite an interesting product. Um, in all. It, it was four forty nine a can, so it, it's around around the price of Zin. Um, I think there is some nicotine coming in at this point, so it, it's better than Velo already. Six milligrams is is an acceptable level in my mind. Um, it seems like the on four milligram. Even though it's four, it seems stronger than Velo's four milligram. And I think what it comes down to is On has a much faster release of nicotine than than Velo. Or even Zin, for that matter. Not that Zin is bad. But anyway, yeah, it can be a little bit confusing with all these brands of all these nicotine pouches. Seems like everybody is jumping the gun on this right now. I think they see opportunity um, I don't know how it's going to pan out. I think some of them may not be in it long term. I think it's just not going to happen. Um, 
although this flavor isn't for me per se, I would I would try some of their other stuff, especially here now that Sheets has it locally. Uh, I gotta even research what the other flavors are, but I would definitely I would definitely check them out. It's a, it's a nice can design. Uh, the label got a little goofy here on the side, if you can see that. But it's a nice can design. It is a dip style presentation. If you're if you're a dip person, and having the correct can as part of the experience for you, then this will maybe get you a little bit better better satisfaction than some of the others. But overall, it's not bad. It's just the flavor is. It's all right. It's not terrible. It's a it's a little much on the <clears throat> a little much on the citrus. It, it's it's like it's, it kind of gives you the sensation that something's in the back of your throat and you want to take a drink. And I don't have anything at the desk here at the moment, so I am going to do that as soon as I get off of here. Um, overall, I would give this one probably about a six out of ten. I have a feeling that among whatever other flavors or and other products that they have, no promise that I'm going to do all of that, tablets and gum and all that, but I may at the least get, you know, whatever else Sheets is carrying. They're, 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 they had about two or three more flavors. So <clears throat> at some point I will go back and get, get the others. This is just, I kind of had to pick it up because I had never even heard the name uh, before today so one <clears throat> yeah like I said it, it's given me this sensation going down my throat um, I think I think it has to do with the citrus aspect of it being just a little bit potent <clears throat> uh, hmm anyway um, yeah let's just we'll just cut it off there. Uh, like I said, 6 out of 10, I've got to get something to drink. So, I uh, hope everyone enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Take care.